I want to apologize to my viewers in advance, but I will give as an example the impression of combat actions of the Russian propagandist. Wait, do not turn off the video, the propagandist himself is in deep shock at how the forces of the armed forces destroy the Russian army soldiers. We are talking about the complete defeat of Russian army units near Pavlovka in the Valida direction of the front. The attempt of the occupants to attack resulted in very heavy losses for them. The offensive of the Russian occupiers on Valida of the Donetsk region began on October 29th. Marines of the 155th Brigade and a battalion cascade with the support of Russian artillery launched an attack on the village of Pavlovka, which is on the way to Valida. Dense fire allowed Russian troops to approach the outskirts of Pavlovka, but they were not allowed to gain a foothold there, and after two days the Russians began to retreat, as they cannot fight without aircraft and missiles. In fact, by November 3rd, the Russian troops had been knocked out of the occupied territories and their remnants fled to their previous positions. The 155th and 40th Marine Brigades of the Pacific Fleet suffered heavy losses during the attempted assault of Pavlovka. Only the 155th has 300 irretrievable casualties and half the brigade's equipment burned. A Russian military propagandist reported in his channel that he was in the very epicenter of events 2.5 kilometers away from the settlement of Pavlovka and saw with his own eyes the defeat of the Russians. According to him, a real artillery duel broke out around this settlement, which the Russian units completely lost. The occupants fired very inaccurately and with a deviation of up to a kilometer from the target, while the AFU artillery hit the Russians with utmost precision. Moreover, the propagandist is shocked by the fact that the armed forces fall even on the deep rear of the Russian army. I will give him a direct speech, from unpleasant, the APU destroy the rear, and even deep amazes the accuracy with which they do it. There are casualties, saw the bodies of our fighters. Russian artillery retaliatory strikes on Ukrainians is not impressive. Our shells come often plus 500 meters from the target, and then minus 750 meters, he writes. At the same time, a significant part of the Russian losses according to him is caused by the dense accumulation of Russian forces when they move in the zone of defeat of the AFU firepower. Notice how his words confirm what I have been talking about for the last month. And this is just the beginning, there will be more. The occupants are blaming the generals, saying that they should be changed. But it is too late to change, such structural problems cannot be solved for a couple of months, it takes years.